And we're joined by Mr. Mark Jacobs, who is the Special Advisor on Legal Matters to the Minister of Aviation. He joins us from Abuja. Thank you for coming on this morning. But uh, at the moment, we understand that, uh, Mr. Jacobs, if you can hear us, that uh, all doesn't seem, uh, it's not well. Mavis has a lot of complaint about fine. Uh, in fact, they also say that uh, there's actually a contempt of court case against fine. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Channels. We are very much aware of the issues surrounding Mavis and Fan. And um, we are aware also of the, of the matter pending before the Federal High Court in Lagos. As the supervisory ministry uh, of Fan, my principal is very much in touch with the facts and we are handling the matter properly. Uh, with our legal consultants and uh, everybody on board, we're sure we're going to scale through. Yeah, but if you were to go by first response, it comes across as though for you to have a contempt of court case against you, smacks of irresponsibility, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, probably the uh, bare facts need to be put uh, on the table properly. Mavis is uh, in court. Our contention is that uh, from the onset, since 2007, when Mavis had this agreement, there has never been a smooth sale. The dispute resolution clauses in Article uh, 15 of the agreement show that you don't just rush to court when there is a dispute. There is a mechanism you have to ignite and let everybody, it, it starts with a notice that there is something uh, to be uh, ironed out. Then the parties meet, appoint those who are going to discuss the dispute. After that, you subject the matter to management uh, decision or, or consideration. If it fails, the, res the, the provision is that you now take the matter to arbitration. You appoint arbitrators. If the arbitration fails, Article 15 provides that it is then and only then that you go to court and place the decisions of the arbitration or the records of this proceeding before the arbitration panel, before the court, and ask for uh, some reprieve or, or re uh, reliefs. The records indicate very well that there was never a time maybe initiated this dispute resolution procedure. What we have witnessed or seen from the records is that Mavis enjoys rushing to courts to obtain orders via uh, what the lawyers know as a, uh, you know, you just rush to court and get uh, orders behind your other party. Inter interlocutory applications or ex parte applications are not supposed to be uh, the way out when you have a dispute. The agreement spelled out how you get resol uh, disputes resolved. Mavis has formed the practice from all the records available of rushing to court via ex parte applications to obtain orders in the absence of any other person. They will sue FAN, sue the Attorney General of the Federation, and in the absence of all the parties, Orders will be granted in their favor. The order that is being uh, relied upon for the contempt proceedings presently were obtained in 2010, ex parte, via ex parte application. And, and it was after that order was made that the same court said, look, go back and follow the dispute resolution procedure laid down in the agreement, and which is, that you first of all attempt arbitration. In our thinking, and we are not I mean, going to yeah. argue our case on television anyway, but everybody knows that when a court says, look, this matter is not yet right before me, go back and look at the procedure laid down in the agreement, that court automatically has become functus official. It relieves the parties from any other obligation it has imposed on them. And therefore, 
for anybody to go back and continue to rely on the orders that were made in the absence of FAN, in the absence of the Attorney General of the Federation, in the absence of the Ministry of Aviation, for content proceedings at this stage, it's absurd. Well, Mr. Jacobs, I the have come arbitration in here uh, you are a lawyer, closes. And uh, quite frankly, indicate. everyone would expect that uh, the right thing to do is what Mavis has done. You approach the court at all times, irrespective of uh, the number of frequency with which you do all of that. But the way it is now, you say the number of times Mavis has actually gone to the courts is nothing that you would want to call. Uh, a good action. Uh, was that why you actually stormed their premises, their offices, and moved them out in a gangster style? That is their own version of the story. Nobody organized any gangster movement. The records indicate very clearly that as far back as March 24th, 2011, the agreement between Mavis and Fan was legally terminated. Mavis ought to have packed its bags and baggages and vacated the premises of Fan or the airports of Nigeria. And what we are talking about is not as, as simple as people want to make Nigerians think. This contract or this agreement was supposed to be an agreement where Mavis was supposed to render service to a principal. But from the very beginning, it has been one dispute, one problem or the other. And the Article 15 of the, uh, of the agreement makes it clear how you resolve these disputes. And then it also makes it clear that either party, not satisfied by the performance of the other, is free to terminate the agreement. And the federal government of Nigeria reserves the right when it observes that a concessionaire is not performing to terminate. Is the, is the federal there government being in the world courts where Mavis an agent has always will be gone to the courts and you say, well, the federal government has the right to principal. kick off or kick out someone who is bigger when a case is still in court? Shouldn't we obey the law courts? Now, that is why I took time to put the record straight. That as at the time we were talking, or we are talking now, the agreement, the contract under which Mavis was existing in the airports had been terminated. They were illegal occupants of the airport. And, and I, I just wonder why any court will even listen to them when there is a valid order or notice of termination the law requires, the agreement requires that either party can give two months' notice of termination. Mavis was served an order or a, a notice of termination of this agreement on 24th. Well, of Mavis, March 2011. Mavis is not aware we that, you know, that the agreement has been legally terminated. If they Mavis signed a 10-year contract and, and they have invested so much money, they said they have invested about 7 billion naira, which was more than what was agreed in the very first instance. Shouldn't they be given time to recoup their investment as well? Okay, that is even one of the grounds of termination. Article 8 of the agreement specifies that the entire project cost was to be 3 million. 3 billion, sorry. But within 2-3 years of partial performance, Mavis was supposed to deploy in Lagos, in Abuja, in Kano, and Port Harcourt. Records indicate that only in Lagos and Abuja did Mavis deploy uh, some of its equipment. But within two years, they now indicated that they have spent over seven billion on the project cost that was supposed to be three billion for four airports without asking for variation, without talking to anybody. They have been bandying these figures around that the project cost, which was part of the agreement, three point something billion has gone up to seven point something billion. And only a madman will allow anybody to begin to inflate 
or multiply the cost of a project without permission, without consent, without ratification, and then impose it on him. This is an agent principal relationship. The agreement is very clear. No terms of this agreement could have been unilaterally amended by Mavis. Mavis could not, by any stretch of interpretation or imagination, go ahead to say that before even getting to Portacot or Kano, the cost of the project had been multiplied by two. Okay, and then now it's expect fine that afraid people just of the sit court. Down and watch. Otherwise, why didn't he go to court first when he found out that Mavis, I mean, after the agreement had been terminated legally, according to you, and Mavis was refusing to move away, why did he take the law into his own hands by trying to move Mavis out forcefully? Because in the case that nobody moved Mavis out forcefully, Mavis was merely told not to enter the airport again. And which is a right for, of any principal. If you employ a security man and he's not performing, if you say go away, he has a right to go away. If he's not satisfied with your order saying you should go away, he can sue you for compensation if he believes that, what, that he's entitled to work more. But it is not possible under the laws of contract in this country or anywhere that a, an agent will impose himself on a, 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 on a principal. It doesn't exist anywhere in the world that an agent will say, I must work, when the principal is saying, I don't need your services again. But in, in this yeah, case, this is the age in this case, of due process. Doesn't the, the court the have the final say in this matter? Yes. The courts have the final say, don't they? Pardon? The courts, they've got the final say in this matter, don't they? In that process. And that yes. is why we are saying that the procedure laid down in the agreement must be followed. You don't rush to court on a Friday and obtain orders and expect that on Saturday no, but, we'll comply uh, with the orders. Pardon me for buttoning here, because but we are they not didn't give there. themselves the orders Extra unless you are introducing the bot. I usually reserve the for gave emergencies. But of course, you know that uh, if and when the courts take whatever decision, are you or your principal, are they going to comply with it, even if it doesn't favor you? We, we certainly will comply with orders of court, and we will challenge those orders of court that are not regular. The present Chief Justice of Nigeria has attempted to say, and I agree with him, that courts must stop being shops where people just rush in and take orders and then begin to bandy them around. These are contractual relationships. They are guided by the terms and the dictates of the, 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 the agreements. You cannot pick what is good for you, rush to court, and then deceive the court, mislead the court into giving you orders, and then you, you don't go further to prosecute the matter. Since 2010, when the court made the order ex parte, on the issues that were before it, the issue of termination was never before the court in 2010. What was before the court was whether Mavis could take 35% of the revenue generated by itself. Now the court said, okay, before this issue is determined, let the parties, let the uh, fan not uh, do anything to interfere. We said, okay. Now, since 2010, this same court has said, go back to arbitration. We are at arbitration. But that court did not stop the federal government of Nigeria, or FAN for that matter, from terminating an unbelievable un 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 uh, uh, concession, a very uh, bad concession agreement that is yielding no fruit to anybody, deserves only to be terminated. Well, and, and since it is sanctioned and agreed upon by the parties that either party can terminate the agreement, there was no valid order stopping FAN from terminating the agreement.